Welcome back to the channel, everyone. For the sake of laser experiments, we are gonna stink up the lab here today and try to laser weld some galvanized steel. So guys, I'm not trying to pretend like I know anything about lasers. I've only got a chance to use it just a few times. Right here, I've got my man Rex Alexander from the Handheld Laser Institute. He's got some miles on a laser. And today, he's gonna walk me through some of the challenges of welding galvanized steel. And it's not something that you've really dabbled with a whole lot. So we're gonna be a kind of a learning process for us both, huh? That's right, yeah. Most of my experience has been welding stainless steels. Okay. This galvanized steel welding, I understand the theory about what makes it bad and what should make it good. I've got some ideas of where we're gonna go and we'll figure it out together. Right, we should know all the troubles when it comes to welding galvanized steel. There's essentially a zinc coating over the steel itself. After that, it's just steel. But the properties of steel and zinc are a little different, right? Yeah, and it's super important, especially when it comes to laser, right? The energy density of a laser is incredibly high. That's what allows us to penetrate deeply into the material. Now, one of the things that comes into play when we're considering that energy density is the vaporization point of the materials that we're welding. So zinc, melts at about 450 degrees Celsius. It vaporizes at 950 degrees Celsius, but we're not melting our steel until about 14 or 1500 right. degrees Celsius. That's when you see that exactly. the, the bust of smoke, so, the porosity, the So issues. we're vaporizing all of that galvanized and creating that porosity. So I think we'll try a little bit of silicon bronze wire to do more of a laser braze. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. You can braze with a laser? We can. Yeah, brazing galvanized with laser has been kind of the leading thought process for the past few years. Uh, recently though, I've seen a few things where people have actually been defocusing the beam on the surface and using stainless wire. So you okay. retain your corrosion resistance. By defocusing the beam, we don't vaporize the galvanized. And by using the laser properly, we can actually get good penetration. And not only that, but I get to beat on some metal again, right? We're we'll gonna do it. some destructive testing. We're gonna do some T-joints get some brake fillet weld breaks we're also going to do some lap joints and do some cross-sectional looking etching see what we got as far as quality welds and brazes yeah today we're just going to do some experiments <laughs> 